Hi, this is Patrick Brunel from Brilliant Directories. In today's video, we're going to learn how to match leads that are coming into your website. Let's remember a lead is anybody that comes to your website and tries to contact a member or fills out your get matched or ask a quote or ask a question form. There's different ways that leads can come in through the system. But today we're going to learn how to match it. So let's log into the admin. Let's go and check out the match lead section. Now from here, we can see all of the different leads in the system. In a previous video, we went over every single lead status. In this video, we're going to focus specifically on how to match. So we're going to click on the pending status, which means that we, the directory owner, need to act on this lead that came in. So we'll start at the top one. We can see that it was submitted via the get matched or ask for a quote form that's on our website. In case you want to see that real quick, here it is on our website. People can come and ask to be matched to different members on our site. So going back to the match lead section of the admin, what I'm going to do is I can read the subject line. I need a lawyer ASAP. This is an excellent lead to send out. They are in San Francisco, California, and they special, they're asking specifically for somebody that specializes in criminal law. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the match button. And we can see where the lead was submitted. So we can zoom out. This uses, of course, the Google Map integration. So we can see the specific lead location. We can see that no one has been matched yet. Of course, that's because the lead was submitted via the get match form. We do have auto matching functionality, but that can only be available via the auto matching package that's sold separately. We're focusing specifically on the basic leads package that comes free with every bootstrap theme. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to search. So we know that they asked for criminal law. So we have top levels and sub levels. So we'll go ahead and select criminal laws and we're going to go find all the lawyers that we have in San Francisco that match this specific criteria. Now, when we scroll down, we'll see we have four lawyers in the database that match this specific criteria. You may be asking yourself, why is Patrick showing up above law and trust and lawyer up? This is because this is a premium member. The membership below is the silver membership, and then we have our free members. So the order that you'll see the potential matches will always respect your membership levels. This is key because it means that you're never going to accidentally match a free member when you should be taking care of a paying member. You're also going to see the recent activity, the last five matches, and what they've done. This is very telling because you can tell if you have a member that's inactive or somebody that is active. If somebody hasn't been active in their last five matches, you're probably going to want to get on the phone and find out what's going on. Whereas if they are being active, you know that this is a great person to send a lead to because they're interacting with your platform. So you have a couple of options. You can choose to send it to everybody and just click on the match setting here. Now, whatever settings you've set up, in your lead settings are the ones that are going to be respected. So if you've set it up so that it sends out the preview email, it'll send out the preview email. If you set it up to send out the full details, it'll send out the full details. But in this case, I may want to only send it out to my paying member because he's in San Francisco and he's paying me to be on my site. I want to make sure I'm taking care of my paying members. But I don't want to send him a generic template because I got on the phone with him earlier and I'd like to personalize this. So in this instance, I can actually choose to send a custom email as pending or a custom email as accepted. We always recommend sending emails as pending, of course. Or I can just go ahead and click on the match button. It'll instantly do all of that work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and send it in this example to these two members who are both paying. It's a silver and a premium member. And I'll click on the match button. Are you sure you would like to match these two members? Yes, of course I am. And the matches have now been performed. When the page reloads, we'll now see that there are two people that have been matched to this specific lead. So when we scroll down, they will be isolated from the people that are still available to be matched. So it'll be easy for you to tell who has specifically been sent this specific lead. 
You may also choose to resend the email to a member. Possibly they're calling in or emailing in and saying, hey, I never got the email. If you click resend email, they're going to instantly get another copy of the lead email to their account. Basically, this is how you go ahead and you match leads using the new leads module. I hope you found this helpful. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.